Well, Steve, where do you start to give your thoughts on that today? Very difficult. Where do I start? That sort of sums up our season in 90 minutes, that does. Sums it up. Couldn't tell you how disappointed I would be with that first half. The goals, the way they come about. Nothing we haven't already spoke about in training. You know, routine, routine defending. Just, you know, lost really by it. At times this season, you've backed your teams when they're playing against better, you could sell position. Would that be different today? Would you some more say that you lost to the Wrexham one it or Wrexham a very good team? Sorry, I didn't quite yeah, hear that. At so, times this season, when you've played against better opposition, you've praised your team, but it seems like less so today. I think, like, I don't know. Normally, I'll praise if I think they're praiseworthy, if, that, if you know what I mean. So, I'm, you know, I'm always honest in my assessment with things. I obviously know that um, times when I've spoken before, how fragile they are. So, I've got to be mindful of that, even even now. Um, it's a it's a strange game how football works. I remember a few years ago going and beating Phil Parkinson's Bradford team six 0 away from home, and. Um, You get to know what it feels like. And uh, I rang him the following day to um, see if he was all right. Because um, when your team gets beat like that, I mean, they're better than us. Let's make no bones about it. We know they're better than us. Every team we've played this week is better than us. In fact, when you look at the league table, nearly everyone's better than us. Um, but there's been... You know, I suppose fundamentally, as I've just said to the players, fundamentally, that dressing room hasn't functioned properly all season. You know, I think for a time, you know, I managed to breathe a bit of life into it. Um, I definitely think that the fixtures that we've had of late have definitely been really, really difficult, you know. Um, I said it before about fitting in Wrexham game at home and then going and playing Grimsby away. I've said it, you know, this week about, you know, before Wrexham we have to rearrange Mansfield. So we chuck that in the middle of MK Dons and um, and Wrexham away, which is not ideal. And the fixture list, certainly of late, has been really, really tough. And we haven't we haven't been good enough to beat those teams. No matter how much we've prepared, no matter how much we've gone through things, I, I wouldn't change any of the preparation. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a difficult one to take. Any sense of bad luck with the goals in the, some of the goals in the first half or do they get themselves in the shooting positions in the first place? Um, a couple of horrid deflections. Look, at the end of the day, deflections happen, you know. I mean, we, we haven't lost that game today just because of a couple of deflections. You know, there's a, there's a bigger bigger picture on that, you know. If, if we'd lost the game 2-0 today and they would have been both by deflections, then I could have easily turned around to you and said, yeah, we've lost the game and we are unlucky and it was two bad deflections. You know, even when, even when we've had our efforts at goal and the keepers saved them, we've, we've not got on the rebounds. We've not, you know, for me today, I thought we were very reactive rather than proactive. Um, any, any bouncing ball around the pitch, for me, I think m most of the teams that we've played against have been better than us on second balls. Um, you know, so... You know, I I just I just said to them, you know, I hope it I hope it hurts them as much as it hurts me. How are you? After, you said you talked to Phil Parkinson after that six 0 defeat a few years ago. How are you after today? I've been doing this for like nearly thirty years now, and um, I've been lucky enough that I've had some really really good times. 
So, I suppose, days like today, I just have to take, don't I? I know you don't like to talk about ifs and buts. I've got to mention it, though. If Colchester win on Tuesday, Forest Green are relegated. Do you think about that? Do you look about that? Or are you just purely planning for survival next week? I, um, well, they obviously won away today, then, for that to happen. Um, and they've got, is it Grimsby or something? On Grimsby on Tuesday? Tuesday. Look, at the end of the day, you know, if... You, you end up the season where you deserve to be. And there's no, there's no glossing around that. You end up where you deserve to be, and um, yeah, there's been there's been things this year that, you know, obviously haven't been right.